Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny. Thank you so much for joining me here today on a new video. And today's video will be a small little flip through through my A5 agenda, my life planner of Erin Condren. But I'm going to show you how I created some tabs that are in here. So before we begin, I definitely want to thank my subscribers. Thank you guys so much for coming over, checking out my channel and subscribing. You guys are amazing and I am truly grateful. Thank you guys for this opportunity. Thank you for allowing me to entertain you guys, hopefully. And yeah, you guys, thank you, thank you. And if you're just passing through, somehow you guys managed to click onto this video. I hope you guys subscribe and join the family. Yay! So yes, let's jump into this video. So before I show you guys how I created the tabs, I want to show you guys how I am setting up my agenda. This agenda will start this year on July. So I'm just really getting it ready because I already have my daily duo in the original seven by nine so this is my daily duo i am in this month may yes hello so yeah so like every day i'm jotting down my schedule of that day like this one schedule of the day this is usually like my everyday schedule but here i write down what i've done so everything I do during that day, I'll come here and I'll write down, I clean the kitchen or um, like if I woke up late, I'll write down late start. And then here, if I exercise and then here, this little um, bullet thing right here, <laughs> I write down my the breakfast, lunch and dinner, what I what I've cooked. Because honestly, my husband thinks I don't be doing nothing. It's like, dude, you want to look through my planner? Mm -hmm. I got plenty to show you what I've done through the day. But no, I just want to like keep tabs of what I do. So this is how I use my daily duo. And this is a daily duo. This is how I'm using that one. I will use this one as well. So I've been filling it up, getting it ready for July. Yes, I'm so excited. You guys, I'm going to scream because I'm so excited. But anyways, <laughs> okay, I need to relax. I need to relax. Okay, so let's open her up. And this is how it looks. Here's the pen. Oh, I have it out. But this is the one that will definitely be in here looking cute, cute right there. And then here is how I've been filling it up for now. So here I have my little cards and then... In this pocket, I have these daily dots. So if I need them, they'll be here. And then they have these cute ones too. You, you see that? Super adores. Um, working out, uh, timing thing, the makeup. Okay, this is this one is like so me. Yes. And then um, for the budget, for shop. Oh, this is for medicine and stuff like that. And here is some special things, you know, jotting things down. And then the cleaning, girl, this is me right here. These two, if if I can get these in multiple colors of just these two sheets times 10 or 20, this will be my jam right here. But these are really cute dots to use. So I keep them here just in case if I need them. So let's put them back in there. And then I have this little cute washi tape and I have this cute bookmarker just for decoration looking making it look cute cute and i love this one create because i create makeup looks and then create my um uh weekly spreads and stuff like that so it keeps me keeping me on that mindset creativity and then they actually have this on their website I love to plan it's on sale like for two something really cute soup i love this i have this little patch on my a6 um kate spade planner in my purse yeah so really like that this is a cute little hello kitty um card and then this is a cute um uh cupcake marker so yeah i keep it there Mo mostly for decoration for now till i if i need to use these spaces for something then i will i'll just switch things around and then in this pocket i have these little things that came with the daily dual pack so I just keep it here just whenever I need it. And then I have these. These are so cute, you guys. These are the, it comes with 20 sticky corner pockets. So this is how it will look in a, in a page. 
if you put them there it, it's really nice here i'll open it up for you guys so you guys can see how cute they are and how um useful they really are here let me see i'll take one they're super sticky you guys so wherever you stick it girl it's gonna stay so we'll put it right no because then it's gonna cover my face oh here we go i already have one you see okay this is perfect yeah i'm settled i settled here so for this month if i have like pictures or whatever it may be i will put it in this little note page right here so it'll be right here waiting for me to store little papers you see how well it's sticked on you see that Ooh, yes like mm -hmm. i ain't going nowhere girl she there cute cute but yeah so i really like these little um corner pockets wait where did i put them oh my god i'm over here losing stuff wait where did i put them oh my god they're right here jesus <laughs> dude what the well i'm losing it either i drank too much coffee or i didn't drink enough coffee but yeah so here they are so i have them in here whenever i need it so let's jump into how i set it up so here's the bookmarker where i have my cute little charms i have my little cross keep me nice and safe can you guys see it i hope so and then this cute owl that i love and then I have this charm right here with the bow and the lips and the little stiletto. Super cute with the bow. And then some twin Hello Kitties. It reminds me of my twin daughters. So yeah, super cute. So when we turn the page, let's bring her on down once again right here. Um, it holds the vellum on this cardboard thing that uh, comes from the Planny Pack. Super adorbs, love that. And then I created this really cute little... Um, pocket uh, folder that i got from the planner shop you guys need to check her out oh my god i need to shout her out she is amazing i will put her um instagram in the description box below so go check her out she does live sales on mondays and then sometimes during the weekday but mondays for sure is when i have managed to um be on her lives and get some cute goodies so i got this from from there and this is the washi tape from the flora uh print the dual uh little pack that they came with uh that you can purchase so i just attached it and as you could see it it's holding on very well like it hasn't um worn out the tape or nothing so this is really good tape so yeah this is there and then this is how i decorate it this page right here my name and then i added these cute stickers so when we turn the page then we got this little uh squares here to put your uh what you want to write down honestly they match the month color you see this is baby blue so july and then august and then september purple and then so from what i did is that i only put three months in here september september is my birthday month so yeah i just added three months because i have all these cute goodies going on in here so i just kept it like that in in the packets you will receive half of the year in one pack and then the other half in the other pack so this is six so it should be six months here so that's why you see six squares here but I only have three in here, so it would be these three. So I would jot down what I want to accomplish that month or whatever your heart desires. This little squares is for you and your imagination or whatever plans or whatever you need it for. It is there for you looking cute. And I love, obviously, love the font, super adorbs, the script, cursive. Yes, love, love. And then I created this bookmarker this little tab right here and i'm gonna show you guys in a little so yeah so cute right you guys i love it oh my god so yeah i cut it to this size so it could be right there and this one is a full full page um you'll see right now how i left that one so yes here is the overlook of the uh year for the six years that are in this half of the of the pack and then the 
year at a glance of 2022 and then here's july oh and here is one of the tabs and a divider and then i added the tabs up here so it can look cute and if i need to go anywhere right here the start of july or need to look at the year right here it'll be here for me and the cute thing is that um i cut them on their circles you see like yes so these little cuts come in handy so i can move it around if i want to put it in front of september so that's what exactly what i'm going to do when i'm done with july i will remove it and place it on august just like that a little quick smr right there so yeah right here we go again oh yes love so let's put her back over here in front of July. Can't wait for July. I know a lot of people are redating their their um, calendars, their planners, but I'm not. I'm going to wait. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just like setting her up for July. So I have my daily do over there and she's been doing me good. And yeah, so for sure, I'm going to wait. I'm gonna wait for you but um so yeah let's keep it going so this is july i have these cute mar uh, bookmarker i put this charm on it this butterfly and then i created this bookmarker too look Ooh, yes so cute i i added the washi tape the floral washi tape on here and then i punched it with this whole punchener and this is from the 52 agenda from hobby lobby so this is a pretty nifty hole punchener i think is on sale right now on their website so you can change them to the size and i bought them for the a6 agenda so i would only i would move it over to the a6 oops that's the pocket size that's right there a6 and you see how it moves the circles where the hole punchener will pun punch in the holes the paper and then I'm gonna move it to the A5. Right there, you see? So that's the right size and punch the hole exactly to where it's going to line, just like this. Yeah, just eyeing it and seeing where the holes are going to be hole punched. That, that is my little trick for you guys. But yeah, I made that cute bookmarker. I grabbed these little stickers from this cute sticker book live life in full bloom yes designer sticker book flora print super cute nice okay so yes and here are the if this is a daily duel and this is the first day of this month as you can see here's the dashboard here's the note page and we put our little cute little corner and then we got our dashboard going on I'm gonna fill it in whenever this month is uh, nearby. And then we turn and this is the first page. So I'm going to actually use this bookmarker. And this bookmarker um, came in a pack that I purchased on Amazon, on Amazon, yes. Both of these were from Amazon. Bookmarker came from another pack and I just cut it up just like that and um i added the washi tape and this is the other washi tape that comes in the little pack when you purchase both of these washi tapes so yeah here let me show you guys put them next to each other so yeah this is the pink washi tape and this is the blue washi tape cute right yes and you see how easy it was to remove them yes that's why i really love that how just by creating those little lines right here, they snap off easily. So I just push it back in. And then when I'm done with these two days, I just lift it back up, turn the page, and I put the ruler back down just like that. Yes, super cute. But let's put her back. So that's that. And then these are the days and here's the tab one of the tabs I wanted to show you guys so here's this here's the tab down here and I put a Hello Kitty washi tape on it to kind of decorate it so 
oh and the reason why i put the tabs down here is because if you're like you're doing your work instead of going reaching all the way up here or reaching to the side you can literally just keep your hands on the table and just flip it over like that that agendas that you see they put the tabs down here because this is that how easy you can flip them through and over the a5 especially oh my god because it's so small like you can literally just flip to where you need to it's so helpful so amazing this little setup with the tabs in the in the bottom i had them on the top we're going to create some tabs right now and i'm gonna put them in at the top but i wanted to show you guys this is the reason why i really like them it's for the bottom yes and then um the dividers i got them from amazon and i everything i'm showing you guys i will put in the description box below so check it out i'm gonna try to be as detailed as i possibly can and these tabs i got it from hobby lobby they are from the uh paper studio so you can check that out as well they're right here so yeah they came in this size like the squared off and then it came with the circled and we're going to use we're going to create the tabs with these circular half circle shape ones so cute so yeah and this paper i got it in a little pack from amazon and i will put that in the description as well so you guys can go check it out but it's super cute you guys i love birds look at that oh my god it's so beautiful yes so I have that for notes or for whatever I need. So I put the tab here to separate my daily duo pages and have its own little section right here before the August month. And then the August poppy. And these charms, I actually did find them at Hobby Lobby. These two. Well, actually, the all these three charms that you see the, these butterflies. So yeah adorbs and then this cute book marker i got it from the 52 agenda from hobby lobby as well it came with three a, a three pack of these so i try my best to get floral looking stuff in this agenda yes so here are my daily duos and yeah look you see the layout saturday sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday monday and so on yes yes love it and then here's this tab and then i put another washi tape of hello kitty here as you can tell i love me some hello kitty some sanrio stuff yes love it and here's the tab so i moved it moved it a little bit over so they don't overlap so much just a little because they are really like together so here's this tab and then here's more of the pages super cute and here is september daffodil yes my birthday month Ooh i'm a libra and here i have these cute little charms it has a little cute bird house and a hummingbird just like this one yes theme going on right <laughs> so super cute love and here's September's month. And then here's another tab. And here's the Hello Kitty. I have this one going on. And then this is different. So this paper is different in the pack that I got in that little bundle that I'm telling you about. And it has these cute, this cute little blue bird with the blue feathers and the dark red paper. So if I wanna be all like, doodling and stuff i got this paper to doodle that so i put it in between these two so it's by itself these this dark red paper and then i have this last tab down here yes and hello kitty super dorps and then you guys if you follow me on instagram you guys will see how i created this little pocket right here and i added the washi tape just like i did to the other one follow me on instagram you'll see how i created this so you, the video is still there if you guys want to check it out and scope it out so you guys if you have like a little pocket like this and um you really like it like sephora girl yes i love me some sephora and ulta but i got myself a sephora one 
and yeah you could create your own little pockets in your agenda just make sure you have a little nifty hole punchener okay you guys this is a must this is a total must for you guys if you guys have an agenda that's the beautiful thing about a freaking agenda you guys you guys can add you guys can take away as much as you want in your agenda oh my god that's the beautiful thing about it so yeah here's that one and then this one came in a pack with the rulers with the plastic rulers so all i did was i added this washi tape on it to kind of add a little bit of a uh, decoration on it because it was literally just clear and i i have my perpetual calendar in here so it's a pretty nice size pocket and i got that washi tape from in here let me show you guys yeah so you see it's almost gone because i've been using it up so yes and here's that washi tape so yes from that page and then more washi tape from that page as well i have these cute sticky notes and then these cute book markers that go over the pages here i'll show you guys how these are and this is from hobby lobby as well so it opens like this it's magnetic for the ones that don't know and um haven't seen these you just put it on a paper let's just put it here but it, it'll still stick because it's magnetic so yeah this is how it will look on your paper so i have these in here just in case if i need to use them and then i have these little folders in here i'm still waiting i'm gonna wait for erin condren to create their own folders because i will purchase them to add them here hopefully there will be a flora print that's why i got this one you know to kind of match it with the whole flora theme so i feel like it did match very well i love it you guys look at this so cute they're from hobby lobby i believe they're from the 52 agendas that they came with a four pack the other two i have it in another agenda but this one i decided to put these because i felt like i said it matches that whole flora theme yes and then back here i have my cute little hello kitty notepad and then my cute metallic ruler yes this is a must for sure and then here like i showed you guys i have my cute sticker book yes you guys adorbs so yeah, this is how I have my agenda at the moment. I'm really like playing, taking things out, taking things in, in here. And I really love how flexible this agenda is. So you can move it around. You can store more stuff. You see how I'm moving it around? Yes, yeah, so nice. I really like that because there's some agendas that are a little bit more harder and I really store too many stuff like this one. You could may bubble it up a little bit and it'll be okay it'll be a little fatty a little fatty one you see like that a little fat one but not if i put it together how it's supposed to it'll be this flat so yes there's room to play room to play so yeah you guys so now let's get into how i created these awesome tabs so you guys can see with the cute bow Ooh -hoo. okay you guys this is what you're gonna need you're gonna need some scissors my little fancy scissors some tabs the, these are the ones I, I was just showing you guys these are my little leftovers from my uh little project and then this set oh wait let me show you guys this this is both so as you can see i've already used those over there and i have these so we're gonna work with these so i could show you guys how i created those other tabs super adorbs from hobby lobby these two from hobby lobby this from amazon if you guys want to know and then this is from amazon as well i got this cute little bundle from amazon and i will put that in the description box below as well it has a month maybe like to do's whatever you feel like you could add to these dividers you see these are cute clear dividers and you put them on these small tabs but we're not going to do that i will show you what i will do with these dividers right now but like i was saying it comes in in rose gold with a gold 
gold foil, you guys. And then black, plain black writing. So yeah, you guys can pick and choose. I would definitely skip out on the black because, you know, I'm extra. So I would definitely work with these two. So yes. Okay, so here are the tabs. And if you open it up, it comes with 12. 12 tabs in here. Okay, so we are going to get four. One, two, three, four. And we will get one more so I can show you how I created these bows. We might need one more, but we'll see with the sizing right now. So we'll put those aside. And then this is when the scissors come in handy. So we're actually going to cut the tabs, you guys. And by cutting it, it's not going to really show any like weird cuts or anything like that. As long as you cut it straight, it will look like if that's how it came. So let's cut it. Okay, there we go. You see? Como si nada, right? A straight line. Like nothing happened. Yeah, that's it, you guys. This is how I created the dividers. And if you guys have like a really cute sticker or a design, a holographic, you guys, I love holographic stuff. Um, you guys can slap it on and then you got yourself a cute dashboard just by itself like this. Or like me, adding tabs, right? Yeah, so let's do it to all of them. So here we go. Here are our tabs now. Yes, to perfection. Like if nothing happened, like this is how they are, like dashboards um, by themselves. So we're going to work with one right now so I can show you guys. We're going to put them at the top. So like I have the other ones at the bottom. We're going to add these at the top. Or honestly, once you put them at the top, you can totally flip them. No. Not that way, you can flip them over and then the tabs will be at the bottom. So now what we're gonna do is grab these tabs. Here we go. So this is what's gonna happen. They're going to be like this. And these are gonna be in the bottom, but I'm just gonna overlap them right now to kind of get the sizing for them right now or which ones I actually wanna use. So I'm trying to put four. So if I overlap them like this, hmm, hmm, let's see. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, I think I like that. But this, we're going to add some gold. So we're going to put, <laughs> I love this one. It says hustle. Yes. And then this one says lovely. Okay, so yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to put on oh, one. This one says fearless. Love that. Okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to use the words lovely, fearless, and we got to hustle. Yes. And then which flower should we use? I feel like we should use the roses. Cause you know how this one has more roses so we'll we'll use those four right there because we're gonna use this one for the bow okay and they have stickers in here so they can stick to the plastic or uh, whatever dividers or whatever paper you have and we have to be careful you saw that it kind of lifted the paper up off the freaking tab so let's find the little plastic thing and be super gentle because I am a beast, you guys. Freaking beastly over here. Here we go. Perfect. So this one, we're going to align it right. 
I'm gonna do it this way because if you if I do it, I mean you could do it like this to kind of eyeball it, but I feel like I'm gonna eyeball it from the back. So I want to put it right. I don't want to put it right along the line over here. I want to put a little bit more in. So whatever is going on, whatever movement you're moving the tab, the divider, this the paper isn't going to get damaged. So we're gonna put it right a little bit over and then down so the the sticky is right right on the plastic just like that and you press it down and then you get this side and you press it down together and you sandwich it delicious sandwich of cuteness just like that you guys and you got yourself a cute tab. Yes. So let's do the other ones. Now we have to be very careful. Like I said, we can kind of lift it up a little bit too much. So we only have to pull the plastic off. There we go. That one came off more easier. So what you can do is put it right in front of the other one and behind it, I mean, behind it, put them together and then you can kind of eyeball it just like, that's why I like to put it in the bottom and at the back. So we're going to put it right there. I feel like that's perfect. Yes. Sorry, you guys. Did you guys see that right there? Kind of overlapping. So if I turn it like this, it's kind of overlapping. You see that? So now I'm going to remove the bottom, the top one, and then I'm going to sandwich it together just like that. All right. Let's move on to the next. You said fearless was going to be next. Let's remove the plastic very gently and careful. See, we have to be careful because then this might happen. But once we put it together, it's like if nothing ever happened. So we're going to line these up again. We really don't need this one anymore, but I'll just put it together so you guys can see. And I'm going to put it behind it. Like how they're going to be in the agenda. And we're going to put it right next to it. Kind of overlapping like I said. You know what? Let's remove it because it's not helping me see well. So right there. I feel like that's perfect. Saw that? Just like that. Press it down. And if you flip it around, it's going to be like this. And then we sandwich it. Fearless, boom. So this is what we're looking at right now. So let's do the last one. And honestly, the last one, you don't have to really eyeball it because this one, it has to literally be right there at the edge, but not too far over, just right here, a little bit over the plastic. So nothing disturbs the tab. Okay. Perfect. Yes, perfect. Just like that. And then sandwich. 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 I know, you guys. I'm just being silly. But just like that. And then here we go. We got ourselves some cute tabs cute dividers you guys oops here you go see oh you guys i love it we're gonna put them in so you guys can check them out in our agenda so this is how these are looking and i want to show you guys how to create this cute bow on them and now we're gonna get our extra divider put these aside and we're gonna get our cutter 
Yes, you can find this at Hobby Lobby. I bought this one at Hobby Lobby, any hobby store. Um, okay, so this is what I'm gonna do because now I wanna see where the bow is going to land. So I'm gonna put them together. I feel like I want the bow to land right here on this tab right here. So what we're gonna do is grab a pen Here's my Hello Kitty pen. And this is where it's going to be that tab. So we're gonna mark it right here. Oops, just like that. Perfect. So that's where the tab is gonna be and that's where we're gonna cut it. So let's move the things over. And then we're gonna put it either side, either way, it, it will cut. Just make sure you move this little thingy over. And then we're gonna put it down and our mark is right there. And when you put this down, it has a really cute, um, handy little line to where it, you hear it. Ooh, making some music up over here. But yeah, this will show you where it's gonna cut so you align it to that and make sure you move the divider over so it could be flush to this because this is straight did to that little string that i showed you the metal string right there so let's do this boom yes exciting sorry you guys because look straight line and you guys could actually <laughs> put them together and create some holes and you got yourself another divider, you guys. That's the awesome thing about these plastics. So if these were all together, put together, right? There's gonna be this tab right here where we're gonna put the bow, it's gonna land right here. And then, then, then you could put another cute decoration on this tab. So you'll have one tab, two tabs, and then you got these cute ones. All right, we're gonna work with this one. We'll put this one aside. We'll put this one aside for another time. So let's move everything over. And from these two leftovers, I feel like I want to use this one because this print will be visible. So I really like these flowers. I really like this one too, but it will be used for a later, a later date. I'm gonna remove the plastic. And we're going to put it right at the edge, okay? But remember, not past the plastic, but right a little bit over the plastic, just like this. And then we're gonna stick it down, try to make it as straight as possible. And then sandwich it together. And you got yourself a cute tab, a smaller tab now. So if you want, you know, you could always have it like this. Yes, perfect. So let's get our cute holographic bow from Hobby Lobby. And let's open it up. These right now, the paper studio, they're on sale right now. They're little uh, stickers, 3D stickers. This is considered a 3D sticker. So we're going to remove it, one of them. And we're just gonna stick it on because look, you see, it has a strip and we're just gonna stick it on the tab just like this. I love that. So let's grab the rest of the, the dividers and we're gonna use our scissors to cut the little holes so it could be easy to um, put in your agenda. So all we're gonna do is cut a little slit right in the middle of the hole okay you guys as straight as possible not sideways but as straight as you can like that can you guys see like that if i put my finger over under it boom yes there we go all right and we're gonna do it for all of them.
so perfect. So now that we cut them all right there in their little circles, now let's get the agenda and put them in there. And let's put them in this tab out of the way so you guys could see the one that we created right now take its place. So just like that. And you press down. And voila! You got yourself a cute new bow tab. And this one's a little bit more over. But I love it. I absolutely love it so much. So here we go. Now we're going to put the tabs in up at the top. Just like we have the tabs in the bottom. These are going to go at the top. So now we're going to decide where we're going to want them. Put it in the beginning of the month, just like that. So let's go to August. This one is hustle, hustle, yes. And then September, fearless, or whatever tab you decide on. Just like that. This last one, since I don't have another month in here, see that? We are going to put it, and these, these are holding these two together. We're gonna put it right, no, because then it's gonna be overlapping that. Yeah, let's just put it here. So if I wanna put more papers, it will have a little home right here in between the top and the bottom tab, just like that. I feel like that is perfect. For that right there so now we got ourselves some awesome tabs so this is the one we created this is the one obviously i had already and here are the top ones yes so here is for july and if i want to go to august i just go push everything over and boom here's august and if i need to go to september boom here's september and then for the papers that i said I, i'm probably gonna add some more lime papers something in here um or notes or you can buy purchase more papers on amazon at the moment right now till erin condren creates some cute papers to fill in these awesome agendas i will fill in this little section right here so now we got tabs from all directions. We got our cute month tabs and then we got our bottom tabs, which is so easy to flip through over to our line paper. Dang, yes, love that movement so much. And then you got, you know, your month or you need to, you know, I'm going to be like, you know, go to our little um, month thing, uh, the overlook of the month or whatever. I decide to use this one right here. We'll move that over. And here is for July. I need to go to August. Yes. September. Yes. All right. And then our papers, whatever. I'm going to fill it in. So, yeah, you guys, this is what's up. This is what we just created is these awesome cute tabs and i hope this helped you guys out i hope this was so simple and add your cuteness to them a cute design and it could be a cute dashboard for that month now we have all the tabs in here so if we close it let's see if it will close that is the the main test right so yeah it totally snapped closed and look, yes, it totally fits. And look at all those cute tabs up in there. <gasps> Love so much. And then they don't stick over. See, ooh, yes, just a little bit this bow, but it's okay, it's all right. And then the bottom tabs, yes, and look. Oh yes, you guys, I really love it. They're nice and safe in here in this cute agenda. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was simple enough to um, follow along. I'll definitely put all the stuff that I just talked about, where I found it on Hobby Lobby and Amazon. I'll put it in the description box below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this little flip through of how I'm setting up my agenda. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Love you guys. Bye. Bye, you guys.